What's up everyone, my name is Chris Liu and welcome to Beneficium. Now, I've been doing a lot of horror games, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, spooks and stuff, so I decided I wanted to take a little bit of a deviation and go back to doing at least another adventure game. Um, I found this on Game Jolt and the graphics looked very low poly and simplistic, which I just love. And, you know, it just seemed fun, it seemed something small and fun. So, uh, this is made by Frostpedal Studio. And it looks very interesting, so let's do new adventure. Enter name. Ooh, I get to create a name. Um, duh. Of course. Would be nothing else. Ooh. Is that a custom model? That is so nice. I like that. A little bit sensitive on the mouse, though. Um, uh, I can't even read it. Let me get home quickly. Okay, can I... Uh, settings, let's see, okay, look sensitivity, I can set, set that down a bit, I want to do the aim sensitivity to be the same, alright, there we go, that's a little bit easier, alright, can I jump, yep, that is the cutest little noise, oh, Elmon's dungeon, you are officially overpassed, <laughs> in terms of cuteness, I might need to readjust that, you know, the look sensitivity down just a bit more, there we go, that's a bit better. Oh shit, no! No! Okay, so I can't run- Oh god. I almost ended the adventure early. Oh man. Okay, controls are a bit wonky. A bit weird to get to grips with, which... I'm not saying is bad, I'm just making a note. Movement and controls are a bit weird. Uh, it's a big gap. I don't think I can jump over here. Hold shift to run and jump further. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. This little kettle right here is your holy point. You can return to the same progress you made. The kettle will automatically turn on when you walk into it. So it's an autosave. Okay. Controls are a bit wonky, and I think the collision system needs a bit of work, but I'm not saying it's bad. Oh, cool. Whoa, hold your hand, hold your wand, stop. Or why, were you going to run into that river? You can't jump over there. You ever heard of magic? You know the fire and ice and storm ability that I taught you? Well, you could use them. Maybe we can create a platform with our ice ability to walk over. Just use your scroll wheel to select the right spell and use your mouse to shoot it. That is so cool. Nice, I like it. Greetings, child of magic. Let me guide you through the Elder Forest. Why does he look like that? Let's learn magic. Continue straight on. Otherwise, follow the arrow next to me. Press E to interact with Elderwood. Yeah, that's 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 bad. Okay. So, Elderwood Forest. If you wish to learn about your magic, continue straight on. Otherwise, follow the arrow next to me. Okay, so. Okay. Killed by water. Okay, okay. Seems interesting. So it's kind of forcing me. Let's see what I do here. Now, how long do these last, I wonder? Huh, hold on. What happens if I do this? No, 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 no! Damn it. Killed by water. Okay, so I guess I have to actually learn about... My Unless I can shoot storms at these things. <gasps> oh, that is so cool. I like it. I love this. What happens if I shoot storm down it? Oh, that is so cool. Okay. I'm already in love with this, like, a hundred percent. Okay. This is not helping me at all. Alright, well, I'm gonna go play around with learning how to do magic, so... Enough of my dumbassery here. All right, let's do this. Adioop. 
Oh, I thought I was screwed for a second. Alright, so we're going to learn about our magic. Automatic save. Fantastic. Come, oh, come on, Alice. You know how to use magic. Alice. <laughs> Don't you like? I feel like you have to train all over again. You can use three abilities. Water clouds and beans on water clouds and beanstalks. Your fire burns down or evaporates objects. This ability can be used to create a new path. If your, your ice freezes water, beanstalks, and clouds, when casting this, you create a new platform. Lastly, storm creates strong wind currents. Use this to destroy objects or even create a water spout. Oh, and one tip. Don't be afraid to walk into water tornadoes. Go test it out for yourself. See what effects abilities have on objects in front of you. After you're done, simply proceed on to the next island. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use fire. Interesting. And then we're going to use ice on the beanstalk. Okay, so this holds it in place. Controls are a bit wonky. Storm or aromancy create strong wind currents. Use this to blow down beanstalks or create a water spout. You can walk and jump into water spouts. Okay, cool. I'm trying, dude. Really, bro? Awesome. Okay. I would recommend that uh, aim system be a little closer. It's a little off. How'd you get, how did these get here? Chaos orbs. Be careful, Alice. These orbs are dangerous. Don't get too close or it might get ugly. You could technically use the cloud up there to blow the orbs away. Hold right mouse button, left mouse button to shoot the cloud. Okay. You could, okay. What happens if I do this? Oh, the duh. Can I walk in that? No, okay, I can't. Okay. All right, so I can freeze these, right? Yeah, I can freeze these, but only for a short duration. I'm guessing. This is fun. Like, this is adorably fun. A few, uh, only a few slight, and I mean slight, uh, critiques. No! Shit! Tied by gravity. <laughs> Ow, ball sacks. Alright, whatever, dude. Um... No, I didn't do that! Damn it! Ah, collision, you bitch. Alright, there we go. Okay, I did this completely stupid. Alright, cool. So, it wasn't... So, this critique here was not at all correct. No! God, you unfair bastard! Alright. Wait, wait. So I know how to do magic now, so I can just go over here, right? Oh my god! Alright, so we're gonna... Ice... I am so stupid. It's it hurts. Like it really hurts. So the water does nothing here. This is interesting, but I don't know where to go. Alright, so greetings, child of magic. Let me guide you through... God. If you wish to learn about your magic, continue straight on. Otherwise, follow the arrow next to me. Okay, so... There's something there, though. Skills, yo. 
for freaking days. The tutorial was a bit weird, but... Uh, okay, I think we're getting close. Use all three spells to get ne to the next island. Okay. Ah, uh, what would I... What would I do to be at home? What I would do to be at home. God, my head is, like, so far right now. There we go. It's better. Just being alone and enjoying my evening off. No witches bothering me in their magic. Just me, myself, and I. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Interesting. So these chaos orbs are dangerous. Uh, chaos, touching a chaos orb. Okay, cool. So I really flubbed that one. Oh, okay, I see it now. Okay, the camera issue needs to be fixed. Just saying. Alright, so apparently the bean... I'm guessing the beanstalks grow back. Okay. Alrighty. This is just the most adorable goddamn thing I think I might have ever seen in my life. Okay, so I need to water spout this bitch. Um, excuse the ever-loving hell out of me, sir? And like a potion of some kind. Are you serious right now, bro? What well, the nine hells, dude? Let's just aim it right there. Let's aim it right there. There we go. Interesting. Magic circle. Ooh. Fun. This took, this took way too long. No time to waste. Let's go find Grandwitch. She should be here somewhere. Normally, I'd be having... I'd be planning... I'd be having my weekly spa night right now. You better be thankful that I'm even helping you. Dick. Come on now. Oh, wow. God, look at that. There they go all of a sudden. Well, Grandwitch, never mind. Not to, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it just decided to run it off for me. Okay, cool. Uh, interact with the door to level 3. Okay, so I'm just going to run my way through these woods here. Uh, the camera system definitely needs a bit of work, but nothing major. And there's nothing of any particular interest over here. Okay. Ooh, that was almost dangerous. So there's nothing here in this forest I could... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Come on. Awesome. Huzzah. Well, here we are now. Now we're, now we're to go. Okay. My bad, bro. Do you grow back? Freaking hope so, dude. Yep, you do. Okay, good. I didn't totally screw myself with that. Oop. Alright, cool. What happens if I burn this thing? Nothing. Okay, so it's just there for looks. I like how there's multiple ways to get to here. Like, you could freeze the clouds and walk your way over. Ooh, what's this? Oh, golly, finally, I met... I meet another witch again. It's really been a little while. Good... A good witching hour to you, Alice. I don't want to bother you, honey, but I'm not feeling too well. 
Some terrible witch came and cursed me, and I'm not sure how much time I have left. If it's not too much to ask, could you please help me? I'm sorry, did you say curse? Oh, I'm talking about myself now. You're right, my darling. She created and she casted in furnace. Cast. It's just cast, not casted. It's a terrible thing. Who would do something like that to an old witch? God, I love these models. These models are so, so fun. I know enough about dark magic to know that it's that this particular curse is very dangerous. It takes an experienced witch to execute it correctly. But no worries, I'll be alright if you can help me make an antidote. Okay, of course I will help you. I am eternally thankful for you, my love. There are such awful things going on here. I expect you saw barricades back in town. I bet my wand that this horrid witch who cursed me is behind that too. I will hide here until you are back. After I get my strength back, maybe I may be able to do something about those barriers. Enough blabbering, though. The clock keeps ticking. It keeps on ticking. I'll give you the ingredients you need for the antidote so you can head off. Alright, so quest received. Alright, so... Can I save this? I guess it just saves automatically. Alright, so... Let me back up and see if I just can't trigger it again. That's a simple particle effect, which I like. Alright, this game looks like it's going to take a while, and so we are going to cut it here. But we will pick this up in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is... What, what, what is this again? I oh, God, the name is so hard. Venevisium? Venevisium? I don't know. It's like the name was in my head, and now it's gone. Uh, give me just a sec. Yes, it is Venevisium. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lose that. It's by Frost Pedal Studio. It's just all of this actually got me kind of my brain working, and I completely forgot the name of the game. Um, but it is Venevisium. Um, so far, this is really fun. It's really enjoyable. Um, got some complications, a few control wonky bits, but nothing that can't easily be fixed, I'm sure. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Link to this game is going to be in the description. Um, so, link to this game is going to be in the description, as will the National Lights on Mental Illness. Support them in any way you can. And the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and National Suicide Prevention Text Crisis Line will also be in the description. If you or someone you know is suffering, feel free to make those resources available. I highly implore it. Links to my game, Legend of Common Realm, will be in the description as well. They're just currently devlogs. I'm working as hard as I can to get a prototype out. Um, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe as well. Subscribing really, really helps. Um, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, what you would have done, what path you would have taken on this. Um, I do. I am going to be doing Retro Weekend this weekend, and I, at this recording, I have no idea what I'm playing. But yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.